Normally, the news attack is my three points about the politics of the day or the news of the day, which has been politics so often and this presidential debate. But, you know, I have to tell you, last night uh, I was watching Melania Trump uh, be interviewed and answering the allegations against her husband. And I just I just had all of these flashbacks. And, you know, I don't. I don't know. We have a lot of younger people who listen to this program, a lot of younger people who were not around in the 90s, and they hear Donald Trump talking about how terrible Hillary and Bill were in the 90s. And I just I just couldn't help but think that history was repeating itself in a very bizarre way last night. And it's interesting that both sides are saying it's okay to attack a candidate based upon the same thing. But it's not okay to attack themselves about the same thing. Does that make any sense? I don't think it does. Didn't make any sense to me when I said it. But so what I want to do is I want to get out the JMAC time machine for you today. And we'll go back in time. Let's start with the present. This is Melania Trump last night. I believe my husband. I believe my husband. This was all organized from the opposition. Mm, All organized. Isn't that interesting? I see many, many women coming to him and giving a phone numbers and, um, you know, uh, want to work for him or um, uh, inappropriate stuff from women. And they know he's married. They know he's married. I said to my husband that, you know, the language is inappropriate. It's not acceptable. And... um, I was surprised because that is not the man that I know. And as you can see from the tape, uh, the cameras were not on. It was only a mic. And I wonder um, if they even knew that the mic was on because they, they were kind of a, a boy talk. The boy and, talk. Uh, it's a boy he talk. was lead on, like uh, egg on, from uh, the host to say um, dirty and bad stuff. You you feel the host, Billy Bush, was sort of egging him on. Now, can I just say that, you know, I like to be immature sometimes, but you're not going to be able to egg me on into one of those conversations. Impossible. It's not going to happen. But anyway, I I digress a little bit. So this is Melania Trump last night specifically defending allegations against her husband of groping, of inappropriate talk. Should we go back in time? Shall we? 1992. This will sound very familiar. Hillary Clinton going on a national network defending her husband against these terrible accusers. Sam, if if somebody's willing to pay you $130,000 or $170,000 to uh, say something and you get your 15 minutes of fame and you get your picture on the front page of every newspaper and you're some failed cabaret singer who uh, Mm. doesn't even have uh, much of a a resume to fall back on and what's there she's lied about. You know, that's the daughter of Willie Horton as far as I'm concerned. It's the same kind of uh, uh, attempt to keep, uh, uh, keep the real issues of this country out of the main debate where they Isn't need that to be. Interest- I mean, history is just repeating itself back in time. Remember Melania said this is all organized by the other side? Well, you you remember. The great story here for anybody willing to find it and write about it and explain it is this vast right-wing conspiracy yeah. that has been conspiring against my husband since the day he announced mm. for president. Because none of it was true, right? Uh, what else did she say way back in 1992 as she appeared on a national network? And I think it's real dangerous in this country if we don't have some zone of privacy for everybody. A zone of privacy for everybody. I'm 100% in the camp that says forgiveness is mostly about the forgiver. I know too many people, having now lived as long as I have, who can never get over it. Forgiveness is a way of opening up the doors again and moving forward, whether it's a personal life or a national life. I like that statement. I think she's exactly uh, right. You know, life is filled with disappointments. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've had a blessed life. I mean, I'm sure I've had disappointments and setbacks and all the rest of it. And it's all played out in public and and for for the second half of my life. But everybody does. I 
respect anyone who, when they're knocked down, gets back up. I mean, it's so uh, she's making statements about when they're knocked down, they can get back up. She's attacking accusers. None of that is something that Donald Trump is entitled to. He's not entitled to a zone of privacy. He's not entitled to uh, disappointments and then getting back up. He's not entitled to any of that. And Donald Trump would not entitle her to that either. Like the, if the transcript is correct, she signs off a conversation saying goodbye, darling, and he says goodbye, baby. Oh, that's not true. Not true. That's that not didn't happen. No, of course not. Or he says, you know, they don't have the pictures. Well, I'll tell you what. This was a woman who at least pretended that her life was ruined because somebody had alleged that she had a relationship at some point with Bill Clinton. Anybody who knows my husband knows that he bends over backwards to help people who are in trouble and is always willing to listen to their problems. You mean those telephone conversations, he was just trying to help her out? Well, he, he, the first time he called her, I mean, we were in the kitchen together, and he said, you know, this woman thinks her life is over, and he felt very sorry for her. Mm, he felt very sorry for her. <sighs> I'm just trying to figure out how we're in a place where history is repeating itself again. What is interesting to me is back in 1992, it was Democrats defending Bill Clinton. And even when it turned out that these allegations were true, they defended him. Those are the same people attacking Republicans today for the same thing. And it is equally as interesting that way back then in 1992, it was Republicans saying this is outrageous. The man is not qualified to be the president of the United States because of how he treats women and these allegations and he's unfaithful. Those same Republicans today are either completely quiet about Mr. Trump or they are defending his actions. The time machine reveals all. Five, the J Mac, J Mac, three, two, news attack. One.